All right, my friends, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Let me tell you something. One of the biggest issues that we have, 2022, or one of the most disgusting things that we have seen in the last couple of years, for me, you may share your opinions down in the description below, which has been many things. We have seen the BLM riots that destroyed our community. It's cost billions of dollars. We have seen Democrats getting criminals out of jail and letting, letting them do whatever whatever they want we have seen so many crazy things lately here in the last two years or so in our country right it has been insane you know the whole COVID-19 how people were abused people weren't allowed to go to work people weren't allowed to go to school people weren't allowed to make you know uh, choices where to eat and things like that it was just disgusting and it was all political it was all political it was at no point has anything to do with, uh, you know, protecting the people or anything like that. It was a political game that we happened to play, and many of you guys and many people out there were terrified, terrified, you know, uh, of living, terrified of going out, terrified of doing anything. Really, it was pretty bad, and it's the work of the devil because we all know that the devil is a liar, right? The spirit of fear was not given to you by God. It was given to you by the devil. God does not give us the spirit of fear. You can read that in the Bible if you don't believe me, right? But one of the most disgusting things that we have seen lately has been how children are being sexualized. And it's insane. To me, it's insane. I, I don't even believe it. I, you know, it's a crime. You know, we have pedophiles out there doing, you know, playing their psycho games in their head with our children. And, you know, there's people that love this kind of stuff, right? Regular people, they consider themselves regular people, right? You see Pride Month, right? What happened on Pride Month? And by the way, I'm going to react to an advertising here and show you guys. But what happened to Pride Month? What was so prideful about, you know, walking naked in the street in front of children? I don't see anything that I should be proud of. That's what we saw. The whole Pride Month, that's what we saw. All we saw was... You know, dudes dressed like girls dancing half naked in front of children. That was the majority of the things, right? I don't I don't know. I'm going to tell you this. If I be gay, I'll be a chain on myself because one thing is being gay. The other thing is dancing half naked in front of children, right? It, it, it doesn't go side by side, right? We don't do that as straight people. So, Again, the whole primon has been disgusting. I saw an older guy twerking, you know, in underwears in front of children. I saw a bunch of guys dressed like girls and, and, and taking money from children and half naked. I saw people completely naked walking in the street. I believe this is a crime, but apparently during Pride Month, you could get naked and walk around. And some of us or some of the people out there do it. And it, it's kind of like funny. In a way, bro, look, listen, man, you're fat. Nobody wants to see you naked walking around, right? Like like now me, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, nobody wants to see me walking around the street, you know, naked, turking. I don't, I don't know. I'd be kind of ashamed of doing that. That's, that's just, I, I don't even know what to say about that. But again, the whole thing about sexualizing our kids and you see it constantly. You see it constantly. Look at this. This is Wayfair. And again, you know, I'm watching. Let me let me kind of preset this. I'm watching, uh, or my kid was watching my iPod. He was watching some cartoons, and he has his own iPad. But the iPad was again, it was out of a battery or something. So I say, hey, look, take my iPad. And then he went to sleep. The next day, I get my iPad, and this is the advertising that is there. Again, this advertising play. This is what I'm trying to say. Play on a children cartoon. Again, targeting children. So it wasn't like, and again, I don't know the campaign they're doing, but my kid was watching cartoons, and this is the advertising that came out, right? Which is pretty insane to me. But let's watch it. Let's see what's Jarhead 6 talking about. Let's see what Fabian is flipping out about, right? Bye, Liam. Don't make a mess. So obviously we got a little boy and he's having fun, but you could just tell right here, he's going to start dancing. You're going to see this. 
What is he doing? So again, you know, here's the thing. Like he's trying to dance and he's trying to copy these two girls, right? So he's trying to copy two girls from TikTok and uh, TikTok, whatever that is. I don't, I don't even do that. Uh, it's just that platform is so disgusting. I mean, I react to videos from then all the time, but okay, he's trying to dance. And he's trying to dance in a very feminine way, right? In a very feminine way, taking away the whole manhood. We have talked about this all the time, how they attack the man constantly, right? So they put a kid here, a young kid, dancing in a very feminine kind of way, right? They could have put a kid doing many other things, right? They could have put him doing, I don't know, playing soccer. They could have put him playing baseball. They had, could have put him building a table. They could have put him, you know, playing with cars, maybe sliding down a hill or something. I mean, there's so many different things that boys like to do, but no, that's not what they did. They don't put him to do things that boys like to do. They put him to do things that girls like to do, right? And here goes mama gets there. Now he runs. And obviously he's going back. So like I say, you can see him dancing right here. He's dancing. And again, in a very kind of feminine kind of way. And again, it's just kind of disgusting. It's kind of disgusting because there's so many different things that little boys like to do. Trust me, I got three. I got three little boys, right? Well, actually not little no more i got one that is 18 i got one that is 14 and i got one that is five and i'm very familiar what what boys or what boys like to do very familiar i got three of them and i have never seen my boys doing this i see my boys playing video games i see my boys playing baseball i see my boys building stuff my son just built a table for his games i see him playing that game D D or whatever that i I, I don't like it that much, but I see them playing that, you know, I, I see them doing so many different things, but no, boys do so many different things, but they put him dancing in a feminine way. Why is that? Because once again, they're attacking the men and they're sexualizing our kids. It's disgusting. Really, really disgusting. Let me know what you think. Put comments down below. And as always, gotta send control.